Yehovah, please fill me with the Ruach HaKodesh, that I may speak your written words with boldness to those who listen. I ask all these things in Yeshua HaMashiach's name, Amen. We'll start with the Shema, listen and obey. Children of Yehovah, pay careful attention and respond. Yehovah is our power and authority. Yehovah works in unity with himself, and you shall act upon your love. To Yehovah, with your power and authority, with your thoughts and mind, with your entire body, and with all the muchness that you have. Yod, hey, vav, hey. Hand, behold, nail, behold. Exodus chapter 35. Moshe assembled the whole community of the people of Israel and said to them, These are the things which Yehovah has ordered you to do. In six days you are to... In six days, work is to be done, but the seventh day is to be a holy day for you, a Shabbat of complete rest, in order, a Shabbat of complete rest, to honor, in honor of Yehovah. Whoever does any kind of work on it will be put to death. You are not to kindle a fire in any of your homes on Shabbat. Moshe said to the whole community of the people of Israel, here is what Yehovah has ordered. Take up a collection for Yehovah from among yourselves. Anyone whose heart makes him willing is to bring the offering for Yehovah. Gold, silver, bronze, blue, purple, and scarlet yarn, fine linen, goat's hair, tanned ram skin, and fine leather, acacia wood, oil for the light, spices for the anointing oil, and for the fragrant incense, onyx stones, and stones to be set for the ritual vest and the breastplate. Then let all the craftsmen among you come and make everything Yehovah has ordered. The tabernacle with its tent, coverings, fasteners, planks, crossbars, posts, and sockets. The ark with its poles, ark cover, and the curtain to screen it. The table with its poles, all its utensils and the showbread. The menorah for the light with its utensils and lamps. And the oil for the light the incense altar with its poles, the anointing oil, the fragrant incense, and the screen for the entrance at the entrance of the tabernacle, the altar for burnt offerings, and with its poles and all its utensils, the basin with its base, the tapestries for the courtyard, with their posts and sockets, the screen for the gateway of the courtyard, the the tent peg for the tabernacle, the tent pegs for the courtyards, for the courtyard with their ropes, the garments for the officiating, the service in the holy place, and the holy garments for Aaron, the Kohen, and the garments for his sons, so that they can serve in the office of Kohen. Then the whole community of the people of Israel withdrew from Moshe's presence, and they came, everyone whose heart stirred him, and everyone whose spirit made him willing, and brought Yehovah's offerings for the work of the tent of meeting, for the service of it, and for the holy garments, both men and women came, as many as had willing hearts. They brought nose rings, earrings, signet rings, belts, all kinds of jewelry, everyone bringing an offering of gold to Yehovah, everyone who had blue, purple, scarlet yarn, fine linen, tan ramskin, and fine leather brought them, everyone contributing silver and bronze brought his offering to Yehovah, and everyone who had acacia wood, suitable for any kind of work, brought it. All the women who were skilled at spinning got to work and brought what they had spun, the blue, purple, and scarlet yarn, and the fine linen. Likewise, the women whose hearts stirred them to use their skills spun the goat's hair. The leaders brought the onyx stones and the stones to be set for the ritual vests and the breastplate, the spices and the oil for the light, for the anointing oil and for the fragrant incense. Thus every man and woman of the people of Israel whose heart impelled him to contribute to any kind of the work to Yehovah had ordered Moshe, had ordered through Moshe, brought, brought it to Yehovah as a voluntary offering. Moshe said to the people of Israel, See, Yehovah has singled out Bitilael, the son of Uri, the son of Hur, of the tribe of Yehuda. He has filled him with the Spirit of God, with wisdom, understanding, and knowledge concerning every kind of artisanry. He is a master of design in gold, silver, and bronze, 
cutting precious stones to be set, wood carving, and every other craft. Jehovah has also given him Ohalav, the son of Ashmelech, the tribe of Dan, the ability to teach others. He has filled them with the skill needed for every kind of work, whether done by an artisan, a designer, an embroiderer, using blue, purple, and scarlet yarn, and fine linen, or a weaver. They have skill for every kind of work and design. How can we learn to love our Creator after reading Exodus 35? We can listen and obey to what is ordered by Yehovah. Work six days and rest in the seventh day, which is a Shabbat in honor of Yehovah. If your heart makes you willing to bring an offering to Yehovah, then give it to Yehovah. If your heart makes you willing to give your talents, then give your talents to Yehovah. Know that the children of Israel made all the items of the temple while they were in the desert. If your heart is stirred and your spirit is willing, then work for Yehovah. If your heart impels you to give to Yehovah, then give what it is in your heart to give as a voluntary offering. Ask to be filled with the Ruach, Ruach of Elohim, with wisdom, understanding, and knowledge. Aim to be a master of whatever it is you do for Yehovah. Ask Yehovah to fill you with the, with the skill needed for the work to be done for Yehovah and teach for Yehovah. Love others as Yeshua loves us. We can encourage others to work for Yehovah using their skills. Bear one another's burdens. We can lead the way in listening and obeying to the orders of Yehovah. Produce spiritual fruit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, humility, and self-control. We'll end with the Arianic blessing. Yehovah will kneel before you presenting gifts, and he will guard you with a hedge of protection. Yehovah will illuminate the wholeness of his being towards you, bringing order, and he will provide you with love, sustenance, and friendship. Yehovah will lift up the wholeness of his being and look upon you and will set in place all you need to be whole and complete. Amen.